controlling traffic on office work at headquarters or on other duty, and sentry guard, as a member of the mounted branch, or on motorcycle patrol, the policeman is the symbol of law and order in our society. But there is need for more policemen as our population increases, and hundreds of young men answer the call for recruitment. There are certain basic physical requirements which each candidate must satisfy. Emphasis is placed on height, five feet seven and a half inches being minimal. This is to ensure that recruits possess a good military bearing. Those measuring up to the necessary height requirements undergo further physical examination. Chest measurement of 34 inches and over being acceptable. The recruits will undergo six months of extensive training covering from rifle drill to judo and the selecting officers must make sure that the men they select meet the basic and required standard. Recruits must also pass the scrutinizing eyes of other officers whose duty it is to critically examine them for twisted limbs, minor impediments to speech and other physical defects. The men selected must be in first class physical condition. Applicants are given a simple IQ test including general knowledge. This is to ensure that besides being physically fit, they possess some basic educational standard. During their six months of training, they are also expected to absorb court procedure, basic criminal law and police duties. And now comes the happy day. The Honourable the Minister of Home Affairs presents the awards for outstanding work done during training. A momentous occasion in the lives of these men as they assume the responsibility for the upkeep of law and order. A passing out parade ended with a brilliant display by the Motorcycle Corps. The Trinidad and Tobago Police Force has had a long and distinguished history and its new members are proud to take their place besides men such as these. A thrilling display illustrating the versatility of the police force.